while many responded with scorn to the news Wednesday that NBC had fired Today Show anchor Matt Lauer over allegations of inappropriate sexual behavior. The Rev. Franklin Graham instead took a moment to remind everyone to be mindful of their own sins. What we're seeing in the recent string of what is termed misconduct really boils down to a morality issue, people failing to follow God's standards, and that is called sin, the famed son of the Rev. Billy Graham and CEO of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association wrote in a Facebook post. The Bible tells us, be sure your sin will find you out, the post continued. This is a warning to all of us to examine our lives. That doesn't just apply to movie stars, media personalities, and politicians, but to everyone. One sin leads to others and can have a great impact on our own lives and the lives of those around us. Sin has devastating consequences, here on earth, and for eternity. But God is anxious for us to come to him in repentance and ask for his forgiveness and help. True healing comes through trusting Jesus Christ in faith and following him as the Lord of our lives. Matt Lauer of the Today Show was fired by NBC News after an investigation. What we're seeing in the recent string of Posted by Franklin Graham on Wednesday, November 29, 2017 Trending Obama pretends he's president, copies Trump's Asia visits two weeks after Donald returned Graham's point WASNT that people should NT be angry with Lauer, because they certainly should, but rather that Christians, and all humans, really, ought to prioritize ensuring they themselves live righteous lives versus obsessing over the faults of others. Lauer's own history provides a perfect example of this point. As noted by The Daily Wire, during an interview months earlier with former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly, Lauer harangued the 68-year-old political commentator over the allegations of sexual misconduct against O'Reilly, who were essentially accusing him to his face of being guilty. Think about those five women and what they did, Lauer said to O'Reilly. They came forward and filed complaints against the biggest star at the network they worked at. Think of how intimidating that must have been, how nerve-wracking that must have been. Doesn't it tell you how strongly they felt about the way they were treated by you? He then asked. The irony of Lauer's remarks were not lost on radio host Rush Limbaugh, who Wednesday afternoon wondered what went through Matt Lauer's mind when he asked these questions. We got you, Bill, we got you, and I've been doing everything you've been doing, Bill, and I'm still here. Ha 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 ha, Limbaugh said, imagining Lauer's mindset. The point, again, is that instead of harping on O'Reilly over allegations he sexually harassed women, allegations he continues to deny, I might add, Lauer should have been examining his own life and coming to terms with his own culpability. Related Harvey Weinstein accused of sex trafficking, amid 50 other sex abuse claims and to be clear, Lauer ISNT claiming to be innocent, as he himself admitted in an apology statement released Thursday morning. A statement from Matt Lauer There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. Pick.twitter.com 93RHXQKQD Today at Today Show November 30, 2017 As the agile adage goes, people who live in glass houses should NT throw stones. HTCNS News Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about the Rev. Franklin Graham's wise response to Matt Lauer's termination over inappropriate sexual behavior. We strive to the highest conservative values, editorial standards, and truth in journalism, all of which are under attack. Your donation funds the fight against mainstream media corruption and helps us reach millions of readers with the truth. You can also receive the unfiltered truth directly to your inbox by clicking here to subscribe to our newsletter. We can also alert you to breaking news if you click here to sign up for notifications. And, to ensure Conservative Tribune is in your Facebook news feed, mark Conservative Tribune as follow first, click here for follow first video instructions. Sincerely, Josh Manning Site Director, Conservative Tribune. <laughs>